Hello everybody, it's Joe here and welcome back to another episode of City Skylines 2. Today we're back in Sam Bradifax City, which is doing really, really well. However, it was pointed out in the comments in the last episode, I don't know if you meant to point it out quite so cynically uh, or subtly, but in this episode we'll be looking at the budget. Now I've looked at this and it's going down. That's a problem. So we've actually got to the point where this is higher than this, and that's how you end up with no money. 8.6 million in the hole every month, which is not good. I'm sure you don't need me to tell you that. So, how are we going to make some money? Well, we've got a little uh, little orange, uh, little orange, it's yellow, clearly. Uh, we've got a little yellow bit there for industrial demand. So we might try and get some more industry. Oh, there's a love out there. What, what's, what's happening down here? Well, there's, well, there's nothing sordid going on at uh, 1360 Holly Street. Uh, so, yeah, what can we do with that? Now, I think a good thing to do would be to produce a few more goods if we look at natural resources. It saves us importing. Now, if we look around here, we do actually have a couple of things. Oh, what's happened? Oh, they're clouds. It's fine. Don't panic, everybody. Don't panic. So, we've got a massive ore deposit here. There we go. So, if we buy them... I'll have this one here as well. And obviously this is going to need to get to here somehow, isn't it? I'll tell you what we'll do, we'll... There we go. I have two of them. I'll have these two as well there. That is lovely. In fact, tell you what, we'll take them off. We'll just have that one. Lovely. Right, so we purchased them. So we're going to have some ore. Right, so obviously we're going to need a, uh, a motorway, aren't we? It would look rather silly if we didn't have... Didn't have them as well. There we go. We'll uh, a bit of that. Obviously, these are not connected in the slightest, are they? So what we'll do is we'll go back to the back to the ore, natural resources. Right there we go. That is looking lovely. So we'll put a motorway junction in. Now what we'll do is we'll go for uh, highways. There we go. Right. You've seen me do this before. You know my uh, my style of motorway junction. Go for a, a nice two-lane highway across the top. There we go. Looking lovely. Right. It's a little bit wonky, isn't it? But never mind. Actually helps sometimes when you leave the clipping on. There we go. Stick you there. That's not quite as smooth as I was hoping it would be. Right, we'll get rid of that. Right, stick you there, and then take the clipping off. Ah, that's better. Lovely. Right, okay, so we can go that way. And if we're feeling a little bit, uh, little bit fruity, Hang on, right, how, how do we, where can we stick you? We can stick you there, lovely, one. Will there be that many lorries coming down here? I don't know, to tell you the truth. So what we'll do is we'll just, we'll go with one for now, and if traffic gets that bad, we can always upgrade, can't we? There we go. And it's straight onto a motorway, so we should be fine. Would that be better off as one lane? I tell you what, we'll just leave it as two. Leave it as two. For some reason they're going over the top. Right, okay. Right, there we go. Right, we'll go with the... Uh, where's the highway business? Right, hang on. Highways. We'll just go for one of these as well. Keep it nice and quick. What are we doing there? There we go. Oh, hang on. We're leaving it up in the air. I don't want that. Get rid. There we go. Right, so we're doing that. Where's my natural resources? There. Right. Oh, right. Okay. That's nice and straightforward, isn't it? So what we'll do, we'll go into a normal road now. We'll just go straight up the middle. How's that? There we go. Beautiful. Bring you out there. Bring you up there. Lovely. And we'll just sort of branch off like that. We should be able to get that 
nice and well connected. So what I'm going to do is we're going to just go for a windmill. There we go, right. Windmill's there. The water pipes, we'll have to just stick them underneath anyway, won't we? Right, hang on. Oh, exceeds city limits. Of course it does. Right, that's going to be an issue. So we'll have to obviously buy that, which in turn means we need to buy that so it's nice and... There we go. I mean, we've got loads of these spaces left, haven't we? 32 of them, so we'll, we'll just buy it anyway. It doesn't matter. Right, water pipes. Stick them under there. There we go. Right. Which in turn means we don't need the windmill, but we'll we'll get rid. Yeah, it's fine. It's fine. Stick the water pipes coming out of... Uh, these aren't water pipes. These are lecky pipes. Pipes of electricity. Mm-hmm. There we go. Oh, they're overground ones as well. Fantastic. What could look better? Right, so, if we go in the industry, where are you? Specialised industry. Stone mining. Ore mining. Oh, hang on. So, is, is this ore? It is ore. But, what's the difference? Oh, it can be set up anywhere. Right, okay. So, we need ore deposit. There we go. Right. Oh, there we go, that'll do. So what we'll do is we'll stick you there. It's a while since we've done anything like this, isn't it? We'll bring you to there. Bring you up there, yeah, round the top. Get the uh, stone comestibles. There we go, right, bring that in there. Lovely. Right, why is that an invalid shape? I'd... Have I gone the wrong way around about this? Right, hang on. There we go. We'll, we'll just... If you want to do it more difficult... There we go. I think I went the wrong way around, didn't I? Right. There we go. Right. Right into the corner. Lovely. Bring that down there. Right, there we go. We got there in the end. And it's actually starting to mine some ore. Lovely. So what we'll do is we'll, we'll do the same again. Could take a little while to get this done, couldn't it? But everything's fine. Right, stick you there. Lovely. So if I try to go this way around, right, overlapping items. So no, we have to go that way. Was I being really thick there? I think I was, wasn't I? Right, hang on. Yeah, because I was trying to put it up there and it should have just been there. It's amazing how easy it is when you actually know what you're doing. Bloody imbecile. Story of my life, isn't it? Right, okay. There we go. Right, down there. It's probably not going to take as long as I thought it would, is it? If uh, if you know what you're doing. A driving advisory has been issued for the immediate area due to poor road conditions. There we go. So right. Drive and try to stay off I can now. Uh, I can feel the profits rushing in. You know, this I really can. Local right here we go. Another one there. Delightful. Another letter from our erstwhile listener. Hmm. There we go. Right there we go. Yeah. Love you. Oh, that's nice. Right. We'll get a... Where's me? Where's me? Why can't we? Is that road on a curve? I didn't ask for a road on a curve, did I? There we go. Right, so we've got that. That's not going to work, is it? Right, stick you there. There we go. Right, bit of this up there. I don't know what this chap's waffling on about. Right, there we go. Right, so we'll have a bit of that, and then we can easily just connect this. Oh, wow, with new signature building, Ground Earth. Crushing large rocks into even smaller rocks like never before. Wow. Okay, right, get you there. Bring it, yeah, down there, down to the end. Right, there we go, right, there we go. 
Aha! Excellent. Right, that's good. So we've got the uh, we've got this new building. Where is it? Unique building. Ground Earth. Right. Okay. That's good. So we can put that anywhere, can't we? Right. Road required. We could actually put that. We put that. No, we can't put that there. What I'll do, we'll just put it there. There we go. Right, where are we? There we go. Right, how many people need to work here? Right, there's nobody that actually works there. Right, okay. But it just meant the efficiency more. So if I go into... Where, where's my business? How's that got more? <laughs> hmm. Taxation. Right, okay. What if I put that to 12%? Because we were trying not to tax residential, weren't we? Is that, uh, that going to change anything? Why is the estimate zero? Is it, is it not going up? No. Okay. Fair dues. Are all of these at 100%? Yeah. I really don't want to start cutting costs. I really don't want to start cutting costs. Um, we are actually producing more stone now. Hang on. But that's ore. So we're producing more ore. Metal ore. Producing more stone. Could do with... What's this? This is coal. So hang on, do we need to, uh, how, how do we get coal then? Let's have, let's have a look. Can be set up on natural ore deposits. Right, perhaps we should have done a bit of coal mining. Never mind, we've got this chap up here, haven't we? Right. And what we'll do is we'll, uh, we'll build another, another motorway. Right, so a bit of snapping, yeah. So if we can, uh, if we can stop importing coal, that will help, won't it? Right, we'll have a perfectly round one this time. Oh, hang on, that's not going to work, is it? If you want a round junction, right. Stop clicking. Yep, no snapping. Right, put you in the middle. Lovely, look at that. It can be the... That is the roundest roundabout I think I've ever made. There we go. Right, stick you on there. Same sort of affair. Same sort of shindig. Right, hang on. Snap that back again. Uh, lovely. Alright, bring that down. Lovely. What a triumph that is. Right, okay. Uh, so, where's my, where's my ore deposit gone? Right, we're going to bring that across. Lovely. Straight up the middle. Into just a normal road. There we go. Right, uh, splendid. So we'll get some coal over here. Oh, hang on. What we do need to do, that is an excellent point that you make there. Get rid of all that. There we go. Right. I'm going to need to just stick that there. And bang one of them underground. There we go. Right. Connect that up. And bang a couple of water pipes next to it. That'll do. Because then what we need to do is we need to go into our... This... Okay, that's going to work, sort of. It's about right, isn't it? If we if we do that, there we go. Right, so coal is going to be we'll do as much of this as we can. There we go. We'll spread it out right the way around the edge. Okay, we're missing out on a little bit here, but I'm sure we'll be fine. Right, there we go. Mm, 
distance too long. Aha, there we go. Now we'll be oops, producing coal now. Let's have a look. This is where it turns out we're not producing coal. Are we actually taxing residents yet? Has that happened? There we go. That's gone up by 3 million, so estimated total. Right, are we, uh, are we, are we actually starting to see some? Yeah, we didn't want to, but unfortunately the city budget, you know, we, we want to keep this as a brilliant sort of wonderful place to live. And if we're going to be shoving so many buses down these routes and trains and whatnot... It's going to have to happen, I'm afraid. Right, let's uh, let's have a look how we're doing on that old production tab. Okay, still in a deficit. But is that because we've not finished? Can people actually get here? Do they work as employees 60? Right, where are you all going to park? Do we need car parks for... Uh... There's a very large parking lot. There we go, right. And we won't charge a parking fee there for our oil workers. There we go. Nobody actually... Uh, it's available for rent. Hmm. Well, it's probably due to poor connections. But what I'll do is I'll stick another car park there. How many people actually work at these places? Right, so 52, 60, 47, 86. Right, so quite a few people, really. What I'll do, right, where's my, where's my car park? Right, medium lot. Right, why does that say it's overlapping? Ah, because of the power lines. Right, okay, that's sensible. Right, there you go. Park in there. Park in there. So that people can drive to work. There we go. I know we're not meant to encourage that, are we? But we will. There's no point putting a train as that. I just can't see enough people using it. Right, there we go. No fee. No fee and no fee. You know, for the out-of-town places, people just are going to have to drive to work. That's a, a sad state of affairs. Oh, dear. Oh, no. Involved in an accident. Flipping heck. That's no good. That just describes what it's like living in this city, doesn't it? Eh, hey dear. Eh, hey dear. It's a worry. Right, is anyone actually... Has anyone driven to work? No. Right, okay. Wow, 16,000 a month. That is a lot of money. I hope that these people are... Uh, We'll just put a little little parking fee. There we go. Little one. Little one there. Little one there. And a little one there. What is this? Oh yeah, of course, bin lorries. They have to uh, they have to do the rounds, don't they? Is any person actually like can we see if there's are they working here at present? Hmm, yeah. Right. Okay, to make a little bit more money as well, we could do with sorting out this industrial demand. Because, of course, there is a bit. So if we can get more industry in the city... Flipping out, a lot of cars on the road there, isn't there? I mean, we could start by just sort of... There we go. Banging a couple of bits and pieces in there. A couple of buildings in. Look at that, it's just... An easily solved problem, isn't it? Without actually having to... Oh, hang on, right. There's a reason we're not putting stuff down there. And that's because of residence. But that's blowing that way. So we can, you know, we can make use of these roads. What's this? Oh, right, okay, yeah. It's one of them doodars. Wouldn't it be better to put, you know, sort of... Car parks in for people if we're, you know, there we go. We put a very large parking lot. We'll leave it at £10 and see if anyone uses it. 
because uh, on street parking is a bit of a uh, bit of a problem. Wow, look, they're straight in, straight in there. And what we could do is we could use a, put a very large parking lot on the other side, except we can't. There we go. We'll stick another one there for anyone coming the other way. See, all that's happened here is this has made bad traffic. <laughs> There we go. Flooding in. Absolutely flooding in. I do really like the fact that the car parks are functional. Could we, could we upgrade this? Like medium... Hmm. No, I was going to say, I wanted it so that, like, you could have an extra lane for people turning in here. That would be useful, wouldn't it? A lot of people driving out. They're driving into this one instead. They're driving in here thinking, oh, no, ten, ten, uh, ten pounds. It's far too much money. So we're parking this one over the road. Oh, it's also said ten pounds over here. Right, well, we'll just park then. I think that's what's happening, isn't it? They're, they're trying to get it cheaper by going over the road. It's not cheaper, and they're just thinking, oh, well, sod it, we've got a park. That's that's pretty much what's going on. Ooh. Lovely. Yeah, you just flood in, everybody. Fantastic. It's a shame that... Yeah. It doesn't feel particularly efficient, does it, this? Because now everyone's going a lot slower than perhaps they need to be. I wonder if this is actually making any money. Will this make money? Probably not, because we'll need 300 cars. We'll need 1,000 cars a month to park in here. We can only fit 135 in, so yeah, it's probably not going to make money. Well, at a tenner a shot it is. Right, we probably actually don't need both of them, do we? So we'll, we'll demolish that. There we go. And then this lot can just all park on here. We'll have a uh, nice, efficient... Efficient car park. There we go. Everybody on. You can just sort yourselves out, can't you? Oh, it takes such a long time. It's a shame when you put the car park on like this, it doesn't drop the curb. It doesn't help the fact that pedestrians are constantly wanting to, uh, to oh, for goodness sake, look at what we've done. Please exercise caution if you must drive, and try to stay off the streets until conditions improve. This has been a local mm. Right, we've still got that happening. Mm. Right, we've managed to get it down to worse than what it was when we started. Which is, you know, it's, it's fine. Right, there we go. We'll stick that up there. Mm, and bring that round there. I don't think we need that depot connected at the other end, do we? Right, here we go. Let's get the, let's get this. There we go. Modesty demands that I prevaricate against the type. And all my expertise derives And what we'll do again, we'll we'll stick a parking. Gentle arts. Though I do thank you for the There you go, stick that there for anyone that wants to go to work. Professor Hornbuck. As a traveller from my homeland, I long to hear a tune that speaks to goodness say it right. Can we make that a six lane road? There now, my good fellow. Chin up, as it were. No need to wallow in seven. Okay, no. Leave that to those poet chaps. Here's a tune just for you, and I do hope it provides your aching spirit. Stick a five lane asymmetric. For our feature story, we're on the streets with Kim and Sal, taking the pulse of the city. So, Kim, what's the word on the street? Tell us what you're hearing. It's more what I'm smelling, Glenda. I have to say, it just plain stinks around here. Oh! Gross. 
And these concerned citizens agree. That's hard to do. There hasn't been any trash collection for who knows how long. Oh, who's moaning about trash collection? This is a new one. Right, okay, so there's plenty of dead people. Garbage is piling up. Right, okay. Causing pollution. Right. God, they're yelling, aren't they? They're not happy. Right, landfill availability is at zero. Right, I'll tell you what we'll do. We'll stick a recycling centre there, then. There we go. Right, go and make with the pickup. Have we got, uh, right, 60 employees. Right, vehicles in use, 16. Off you go. Got any more, uh, are we struggling any more with... No, it's just literally around there. I reckon it's because it's quite out of town. Right, how's the, uh, how's this doing with the old car park? See, I mean, it's, it's supposedly three o'clock in the morning. Why is everyone coming to work? At three o'clock in the morning. I guess shift workers, yeah. Of which I am one in real life. Yeah, I should really have a bit more empathy with them, shouldn't I? Are they actually... They're U-turning and going in. There we go, look. Cars are... Whizzing down the outside and trying to pull in. That's really naughty. There we go, look. So when this is full, what happens? Do they just all carry on driving? I don't think it helps the fact that I've got rid of all the on-street parking here. That is going to cause a problem. And of course, by putting car parking in, people are going to drive to work. That's just the long and short of it, isn't it? Hmm. Don't know what the answer is there, because should we just put another car park in? I, mean, I could have just bitten the bullet and put an underground parking building. That's 40 grand a month, though. Oh, it's a difficult one. There we go. Right, carry on driving past now. Yep, full. Nobody to park here now. Crack on people looking for parking spaces. Right, oh, what we could do is we could stick one there. There we go. Very large parking lot. Is that a tenner? That's a tenner as well. So if you can't park there, there's an overflow car park around the corner. On everybody in that one. I do like how you've got things like the train just whizzing through the apartment blocks. I'm surprised that they're not yelling it's too noisy. You know, move next to a railway and then complain it's too noisy. So what's that? That's 22,000 a month, but you can actually fit more cars in there. So that makes sense, doesn't it? But that said, we do need a lot more. We still need a thousand cars a month. I mean, the good news is, is everyone seems to like it here. There's the high taxes. Okay. Bit of noise pollution. We are going to struggle, aren't we? Services. Could do with just produ producing more. Is the answer. Just produce more. I think we're going to have to look at that for the, uh, for the future, aren't we? Oh, wow. Look, they're flooding in here. Flipping heck. Absolutely flooding in. Look at all that traffic. I wonder if a park and ride style system works, like you could put this here and then have a bus. Have a bus whizzing past. We might actually have to just put the cost of the buses up, that might help as well. We've got our transport lines, yeah. Um, do you have much experience with, uh, with this particular thing happening? Is it that I'm making my public transport too cheap? I think that... Yeah, I mean look, 7,000 a month. Tell you what we'll do, instead of £2, we'll double it. There you go. Is that going to solve everything? Of course it's not going to solve everything. Don't be ridiculous. Although that was trams, wasn't it? Not, uh, no, that was trains. Right, ignore that. Usage 3%. Right, we'll keep that cheap. We'll put the subways up. Right, 
thank you so, so much for watching, everybody. I do hope that you have enjoyed that. If you have, please do click the like button. It's always appreciated. Uh, if you haven't already, do consider subscribing so that you never miss out on any future episodes. And, yeah, hopefully we will actually be able to sort this. That would, uh, that would be nice, wouldn't it? Uh, but, yeah, apart from that, uh, it's been an absolute pleasure. And, hopefully, I shall see you all next time. Cheerio, everybody! Goodbye for now.